Hey YouTube, wanted to give you guys a quick review of the DeWalt 2400, uh, 2400S or 2400 doesn't matter, all that is designating is the stand. So the 2400 is just the saw and the tray and the extensions, 2400S comes with the stand as well. So that's all that's designating. Now I personally think any review that is worth anything is not going to be a brand new tool. As you can see, this clearly is not a brand new tool. I have owned this saw for approximately five years and it has taken a beating. Um, as you can see, it's got a lot of buildup on it. I'm actually out here today trying to pressure wash it to help clean it up a little bit. So I feel like I can give you guys an accurate review of this saw and what to expect. So typically on these saws, um, normally the first thing that fails on them is the cord end. So as you can see here, I've actually added a extension cord to make it longer. So normally the GFI that comes from the factory, those will fail um, normally within the first two years. The end will go out and they're a hassle. So I normally just get rid of them and put something else on. Um, and then normally, the second thing that's going to fail, and I will show you here because it failed on this saw, and that is, this is the armature here. This is sitting in the saw just like this. So this bearing right here will fail. Um, and obviously that's gonna depend on how much you use it. This particular one failed, um, I think it's about three years in the bearing failed and it locked up. Um, now the good news is it is just an off the shelf part and you can get it from Napa. Typically Napa has them in stock. Um, so you can definitely expect that bearing to go out. Probably one of the first things that's going to go out. And this particular saw I actually replaced the armature. Um, but that was only because when this bearing went out I kind of messed the end of the shaft up trying to get the bearing off with not the correct tool. So that was a mistake on my part. Um, but so I just got a new armature, they're about 70 bucks, put it in here and the thing still works good. So I will tell you guys everything that I've had replaced on this saw. So I actually had to replace this frame piece down here because it cracked. Now, the reason that it did crack was because the way I was hauling it, I hit a bump and it cracked. I don't remember where, I think it was right around here it cracked. Um, so that was not because of manufacturer defect, that was actually because of abuse. Um, so the other thing is over time, these trays obviously are gonna get some wobble in them, as you can see with this one. It's got a little bit of play in it, but it still cuts pretty good. So it cuts pretty accurate. Um, you know, no complaints there. I, I run this saw hard. I don't baby it. Um, and as you can see, it's, it's held up fairly well. Um, trying to think if there's anything else that fails. Um, other than that, normally the brushes, those last a pretty long time. I haven't had to replace them in this saw. It's normally good to have a extra set on hand just in case they do go out that way you're not stuck without anything um you know and it does have one of the reasons i really like the saw is because it has the plunge feature and then you can it's not one to loosen up but you can turn it tilt the head 45 22 and a half um so that's always a nice feature Oh, I did have to replace the switch. The switch did go out. Um, that was about two to three years in too. So normally two to three years, you won't have any problems if you use it. You know, if it's a light use saw, it'll last a lot longer than that. Um, and I actually have another one right over here, which is, this one's only about six months old. So as you can see for the money, they're very hard to beat. And this one, I'm actually out here just pressure washing it today to keep it in tip-top shape. Hopefully prevent it from getting all gummed up like the other one. So they are definitely worth the money. 
if you're considering getting one, they are, uh, it's hard to beat for the price. Um, they really are. Um, you know, I know a lot of guys will get them and sell them after about a year and just buy a brand new one. And that's actually a pretty good strategy. Um, cause at a year old, you can still get a decent resale on it and get your brand new saw and then never have any worries. So that's one strategy you could use. Um, but other than that, you know, I've been using these saws for over 10 plus years and I have zero complaints. I mean, they are for the money. I, it's hard to beat them in my opinion. There's nothing else that even comes close. The rigids, they're built down pretty cheap. Um, you get to the beast. Those are a good saw, but they're a little bit more expensive. And the 10 inch model, in my opinion, is too bulky compared to the Dewalt, where this one is still a nice compact size. And you can take this extension off there and make it even a little bit smaller. So, and I like the way it breaks down. It makes for easy uh, transportation. So that's it for now. Hopefully gave you guys some insight and um, help with you considering purchasing a Dewalt.